Hi, this is Chick Shane Mosley, and you're watching True School Sports. All right. And so, um, they, I mean, first of all, I gotta say you're looking like really, really big and look yeah. nice and strong. And you know what? Everybody thinks I'm I'm bigger in person, but uh, the fact of the matter is I'm just a big fat cruiserweight, and uh, I'm looking forward to March the fourth. I'm gonna enjoy being here. Uh, this place is amazing. Uh, somebody like me is very uh, happy to be in a place like this. Yeah, man, it's a very nice hotel. Like, I actually have my high school prom here, ironically ah, enough. Okay. Look at you. Yeah, I'm from this area, so. Okay. Yeah, so uh, you would say your body's feeling, you know, is it feeling good? Oh, yeah, at the moment I'm 16 stone, which is uh, 16 stone, so 220 20 something pounds, so 220, and I'm feeling fantastic. But believe you me, on, on the night of the fight, I will be 200 to 205. I'll be quick. Yeah, you know when, when you beat BJ Flores and you kind of went off on David Hay, yeah. uh, you, you were kind of talking about a, a, a sparring session that I guess that took place between yes. you, you, David Price, and, and David yes. Hay. Uh, how did that go? He got smashed. He got smashed. And that's just the way it went. <laughs> yes, he that. pulled out of his fight the next day after sparring with me and David. Who, uh, was it the Fury fight? No, it was a long time ago. It was when he was a British, he was trying to win the British Cruiserweight Championship. Oh, okay. Very long, long time ago. So I think it was about 2000 and. Five. Okay. So why, why was kind of on, on his come up? Yeah, yes, he he was a young budding professional. I was a, a fresh amateur ABA champion, and it went on from there. So it, it's nothing to read into. It means absolutely nothing. But uh, I, the main thing is, I've been in the ring with him. I know yeah. what to expect. So we will see how it goes. Yeah, I'm looking very forward to that one. Thank you. Uh, last night, or I what think I will say is, is the BJ Flores win is overlooked. Everybody just remembers the antics after the fight. BJ Flores. I don't overlook it. I, I I remember you going in there and putting on a very dominant performance. I told performance. everybody I was going to go in. I was going to smash BJ Flores, and everybody just kind of thought, oh well, after the fight, then it's all about Bell, you and Hay. But nobody really gives me the credit that no one's done that to BJ Flores before, mm -hmm. and no one will do that again. Well, if you do, it's because I've done it first. So uh, I bounced BJ Flores up and down off the floor like a rag doll. The Macabu uh, fight that was. Yeah, then I, I dealt with Junior Macabu. For me, who was the most feared cruiserweight in the world at the time, the most avoided, most definitely, may not be the most feared, but the most avoided without a shadow of a doubt. His win over Tabasu Makunu was absolutely amazing. And uh, it is what it is. I'm here now. I'm, I'm a heavyweight for one fight only. But uh, ultimately, I am the WBC cruiserweight champion of the world. And that is my first and foremost priority. So. I want to remain champion for as long as I can, yeah, and I will. I, I plan on never losing that belt in the ring. 